wondered why doesn't the ball sink into the ground when we let it go because gravity must be pushing it downwards like everything else. Today we find out. Hello friends and what's up and welcome back to another video. I'm Mohamed Makan and this is my brother Mohamed Ibrahim Khan and we are here with another video and this time about forces. So, there are various questions about forces here. The first, uh, we all know about gravity, right? When we push it downwards. So if I move, just move the ball, why does it sink? So first, let's answer this question. Why does the ball sink? It's because there's a, another force that's pulling the ball upwards. Now, if I let it go, it, gravity is also pushing the ball downwards. But it won't sink because the ground also lets out a, a force which is called a normal force or an upward force. There are also other types of forces. This is an example of a balanced force, meaning all the forces are equal. So it doesn't move. The normal force is equal to, the gravity is equal to, and so it doesn't move. But if I move it, then, um, well, then I, uh, I'm pushing the ball forward. So it doesn't, uh, so, uh, and, uh, and the, the force from this side is much lower than the force of my arm pushing the ball making it making it the ball move and this is an example of an unbalanced force you know i always wonder why doesn't the ball sink into the ground and now i know if this question popped out of your mind too when you were younger, please share it in the comment section below. So now let's jump into who discovered the forces. The first person to discover and explain forces was Isaac Newton. And that's why we always measure forces in Newtons. Sir Isaac Newton. The equipment that we use to measure force is called a force meter. This is a force diagram. It shows a book on a table. The arrow that, that is pointing downwards is the force of gravity and the weight of the book. The, force is, the, the, the arrow that is pointing upwards is the force of the uh, on the on the table it is releasing it is releasing a uh, upward force make making the book stop to uh, to sink into the ground to um, just go past through the table let me give you another example if i hold the book like this there is gravity putting the book downwards there is also an upward force that is acting on the book. And that's also my, the force of my arm. And the, and the book, the weight of the book is acting on my arm. So now, what is a net force? When the forces are unbalanced, there is a net force like now my brother will shoot the ball his force will be stronger so you get sorry for that so as as i was saying um, a net force is when forces are unbalanced so now me and my brother if he will shoot the ball his force will be bigger so Okay, so uh, the ball will go flying, but, but if the forces 
are, un, are balanced. There is no net force. This sport is called the tug of war. We have to push in opposite directions. And this too includes forces. One, two, three, start. Okay, so while we are pulling, we are pulling in opposite directions. This is called pulling forces. I can't stand <laughs> Then I will I will win of course. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Stop. 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 Okay, so enough of that. That was um, very disappointing, but you won. You won. Uh, I'll show you another example. So now we are going to do football techniques, uh, he will shoot and I will stop it and then I will explain the force that is in it. So, I stop the object. So in this case, forces change the direction of an object by stopping it. I stop the ball so I change its direction. This is another example. Forces all can also change uh, the shape of an object. I, sh I change the shape of this ball by sitting on it. So now my brother will hit the ball and this is an example of another force example. Okay, so in this case, Forces make objects move. Also, forces act in pairs. In this case, the gravity is pulling it downwards and the normal force is pulling it upward. So they are acting in pairs. So, now it's fun that time. Did you know that on the gravity on Earth is 10 and on the moon, it's just 1.62. Then we will be floating in the air. See, there is no, um, uh, there is almost no gravity, and that's why this astronaut is just floating in space. Hmm. I wished I was in space. I could float in the air. That's amazing. It's incredible. And so that brings us to the end of another video. I hope you liked today's video. Please subscribe and hit the like button and share with your friends so they can too learn about all the forces that are around us. And I will see all of you in the next video. Oh no. <laughs>